Stay tuned for the latest message excerpt from josephprince.com. Psalms 34 says, Come children now, I'll teach you the fear of the Lord. Psalms 34, all right? Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? You see, life and good together, all right? Peter quotes this in 1 Peter 3. He says, He who would love life and see good days. Let him refrain his tongue from evil, his lips from speaking deceit. And amazing, it's all in Deuteronomy 30 where it says the word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. It's all got to do with your mouth. Man, if you say, uh, it's going to be a lousy year, all right, watch it. We in New Creation Church, after we learned this, thank God we came on Bible study night. We can, we can now use our words and say good days are ahead of us. Again, I love doing this, okay? So those of, of you who have heard this, me doing this before, all right? Never mind, get a life, okay? <laughs> watch this. Good days. When you come against the enemy, the enemy come against you in, in Ephesians 6. Stand therefore with the armor of God that you might withstand the enemy in the evil day. Good days. Evil day. Your attacks are short. Your blessings are long. Your evil day is singular. Your good days are plenty. Amen. How many will say amen? Use your mouth and believe in your heart. Come on, people. Give Jesus the praise and the glory. All right. Let's take this one step further. All right. I want to tell you this. This is important for you to get this. Let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6. God says, in an acceptable time, I have heard you. By the way, I need to show you this. Uh, Jesus says, I've come to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Remember a few years ago, the theme of the year was the year of, the acceptable year of favor, right? What was the right word? Anyway, it's a wonderful word. Anyway, it's deck toss year. The deck toss year of the Lord. Remember that? All right. Go back again to Luke 4 just now, okay? To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord is deck toss in Greek, all right? Deck toss. Now, dektos, according to Teia, the Greek scholar, he says like this, dektos is defined as the most blessed time when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. How cool is that? Amen. Dektos is that blessed, most blessed time, not just time, most blessed time when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. We are still in that season. We are still in that dispensation of grace. You see, if I was in the Old Testament, I'll be strong on preaching the law. But I'm not. Are you listening, people? If I come back with Jesus, I'll preach on vengeance of God and how men need to fear Him. But I'm not. I'm in the year, the acceptable, the dectos year of the Lord, which has spent 2,000 years. So get your doctrine right. Some people want to preach for the Old Testament, all right? They might say, go back and join Jeremiah. And Isaiah, that's not it. And some people say, well, you raise people don't preach from the Old Testament. Sorry. Most of my preaching has come from the Old Testament. With Hebrew. Okay, are you with me so far? All right, watch this. It says, go back to 2 Corinthians 6. In an acceptable time, I have heard you. In a death toss time, I have heard you. And in the day of salvation, soteria, I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So watch this now. God says, to notice that when it time came to write to the church, the church is already in the dectos year. So what Paul is saying is this. In this dectos time, most blessed time, when God's favors, free favors profusely abound, people, you don't have to wait for a time to be healed. You don't have to wait for a season to be blessed. There's no more seasons and times. All right? As far as God is concerned, now is the deck toss time. Now is the day of salvation. This excerpt is brought to you by josephprince.com. To get the full message, visit josephprince.com. before, 
before God is taking all of us and God dip us in the ocean of grace and then we think we have arrived. All right? He wants us to be dunked in, drowned in the ocean of grace. Amen? Grace is attracted to the weaknesses of men. That very area of infirmity, that very area of weakness is where His grace is made complete. If you will but boast in it, rejoice in it. So once you realize that, my goodness, the more weaknesses I have, the more I'm qualified for what? Superabounding grace. We'll just acknowledge that, embrace that, believe that, think about it, talk about it, focus on it. Guess what? Praise God, that area will be swallowed up because that grace is a defense against that problem, against that situation. God's not concerned about your circumstance your background, your sins, because Christ took care of it at the cross. Now, if you receive the grace, you're going to have a bright future, as bright as God's grace, His superabounding grace. Can I have a good amen? Thank you for tuning in to josephprince.com. We would love to hear how the message of grace has blessed your life. Write to us with your testimonies at praise at josephprince.com.